I think I was 14 uh, or maybe slightly younger when I saw a tiny little speck of white right there on my foot. Um, when you're a child, you have questions that, hey, what happened? It's distinctly different, not realizing it's a condition called vitiligo then. Uh, and like every parent say, no, maybe you have a deficiency in vitamin or some sort of a thing that way. But um, I realized that people then just stop and stare and it didn't stop. It just went on and on and it spread pretty rapidly. There's a lot of stigma around it. That time we would travel by bus or school bus. They would simply give you the space thinking that it's going to uh, spread just by your presence being there, the air that you breathe. You feel extremely conscious of what the hell happened. I'd had random people in buses trying to give me advice, stop and stare shamelessly in trains, uh, gone to the extent of even saying what happened to you. That's, that's what you grew up with. So in the initial years when I tried to apply for an internship at event companies, uh, I must have been 16 or 17, like for the extra pocket money that you do it outside. Um, I was categorically said, no, we, we need people who look a particular way. The stereotypes are very, very ingrained in us. I must have seen over 70 doctors, maybe in three years. I would wear concealers on my leg and go or stockings in the heat. People can win battles by the mental condition that you're in. Um, I think rock solid uh, support from my mother, my, my grandparents and now my husband, who just shocked it uh, saying, who cares? Work really helped me doing that because I was channelizing my energy to a more productive thing. And uh, meeting people who are from different stratas, meeting celebrities, meeting people who matter, CEOs, women leaders, it was a beautiful mix of different things that you do and I don't think I'm suffering from it. I, th I think it's there. Uh, it's like a scar that you get. It's there. It's fine. You don't treat a burn mark the, the same way. Then why this? I think when you let go of fear, your life is limitless. Hi, I'm Komal. I think I'm Flossom. <laughs>